Like, I'm going to press play, like, right there, and it's going to start. And, and, huh? and yeah. yeah. Uh, newly engaged. See? Look, 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 <laughs> look. See that? Look. I have to, that, that's how I start it. Okay. Okay, anyway. Um, this, if you don't know, he hasn't been on camera before. This is silent. Hello. He's been on, he's been in, in a couple of my videos playing with me. Um, this is, was my boyfriend, now my fiance, engaged as of December 26th. Mm-hmm. Happily engaged. So, um. We're doing something kind of interesting tonight. Um, as the majority of the internet knows, uh, Justin Juorio Carmichael um, passed away uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah. So, um, I was a hu Well, maybe not a huge fan, but I was a fan of his. So, um, and I actually had never seen any of his um, tasting videos of him trying stuff that he'd never tried before, like foreign candies and foods, until after he passed away, which I'm really sad about. So, um, in honor of Juario, we're going to try um, some interesting things that we, could pick that up. we have laid out here. From our local oriental st oriental markets. Which is probably about as exotic as we're going to get down here. <laughs> as exotic as it's going to get. We don't have... We don't have, like, oriental bakeries. Where it's like we can buy fresh, like, breads and stuff like that. We've got, like... I don't know. It's just a market where they have, like, prepackaged stuff. Lots of snack food and... Lots and lots of snack food and... Spices and other fun things. And sp yeah, and, and, and ramen which we bought lots of. He bought he bought an entire six pack of what? It's of tasty. Melon. Yeah, it is tasty. I haven't even finished the. Did I finish it? No, I haven't finished it. Well, that's not as much of an exciting drink as no, it's this thing. Well, <laughs> we're gonna introduce that when we actually taste it. All right. Um. That's not how it works. You introduce things as you taste them. Okay. Or at least that's what I've seen. All right. Anyway, um, so where should we start? Should we start with the scary thing first, or should we start with the not so scary things first? Um, or should we get the scary thing out of the way first and then do the not so scary things? Uh, let's mix it up. No, we'll start with <laughs> let's start with these guys. Yeah, we'll start with the scary thing. Okay, these are um, Norimaki. Something. Our our up. Uh, Nori Maki. You speak German, right. not Japanese. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> it's, they're rice crackers wrapped in seaweed. Hmm. If you yeah. Yeah. So from um, Thailand. So from Thailand. Yeah. Oh, it's written on the back. Oh, I wasn't looking at the back. I know. It's the back. Well, except. Except we do, because, you know, mm. diabetes. Um, mm. Not me diabetes, he diabetes. Not me diabetes. Mm. Although, you know, so you would think, but no, not me diabetes. Mm. So, yeah. Let's... <laughs> oh, God. I shouldn't have smelled the package. <laughs> mm. And you're just like, huh, that, that smells interesting. I'm just like, oh, it smells like... I'll just dig into it. Yeah, so it's these little, little rice cake cylinders wrapped in, wrapped in seaweed. It's not bad. What? Well, yeah, you've already taken a bite. Not crazy about the seaweed part. Mm. But the rice cracker part's pretty good. It's okay. There's not much really taste to it. Not really. It, it just... It's not a bad taste, though. I mean, it's just kind of that, uh... That slightly, um, uh, Baked taste, and... I, I'm probably just trying to describe it. It's weird. Mm. 
I've never really eaten seaweed. Mm. I mean, I remember trying to eat it once when I tried it for when I was when they like served California rolls in elementary school. Okay. For like a short stint. Very short. I don't. I never remember that. Well, it was um, it was like International Day, like Hollywood Elementary School. How you guys had fancy things like well, International yeah. Day. Well, <laughs> our we had our Hollywood's kind of kind of divided, kind of interesting. Like the the classrooms are split into little cubby areas. Like you've got four classrooms in an area, and each area mm. has like a different nationality assigned to it. Yeah. So we like. Students in one area would go to another area and like try the food, and one of them had California rolls, and mm. I couldn't get the seaweed to work. <laughs> I don't know. Excuse me. Mm. The ramen is coming yeah. back up on me. <laughs> yeah, it takes some getting used to. Mm. You want another? Yeah. Probably I'm taking the bag. If you don't want <laughs> You may. We shall see. Mm. I'm going to need some of this. Oh, melon and seaweed don't mix well. Ugh. Okay, so, um... Scary thing is done. Scary thing was not as scary as I thought it would be. So, um... Melon. Alright, so anyway. Uh, get out of the way. My desk is a mess. Alright, so, um, I finished that drink, so let's go ahead and open this drink. This is the only drink that we bought, and it's the one that he tried to show you early. Um, this is, this is Paldo Aloe. It's an aloe vera it's a, flavored drink. It's a, well, aloe vera, it's an aloe vera drink made from... I was looking at the foreign. I was looking at the foreign <laughs> language down there. I can't read that. It's made from crushed aloe vera, sugar, and honey. So whether it's, I don't know what aloe vera tastes like. I mean, I know I put it on my skin when I get sunburned. Yeah. Ooh, interesting to so, see. So this is going to be an interesting experience. Mm-hmm. Seeing as you took the first bite of the seaweed thing, I'm mm -hmm. going to take the first sip of the. Of the aloe thing. Okay. Doesn't smell scary. Okay. It actually smells quite nice. And it doesn't smell like the, the, the aloe crap that you put on your skin. Okay. Okay, here we go. That's actually pretty good. That's actually yeah, quite tasty. It is. Mmm. Oh, get a thunk. Drinking. drinking. Now my tongue is protected from sun. Now our tongues are protected from sunburn. That's the important thing. We can go like this for hours and be perfectly fine. <laughs> my tongue is prote protected from when I go to Hawaii. Mm hmm. So, yeah. Now we have a new thing to cleanse our palate with. Yes. Hooray! Hooray. Instead of the forever sugary. Mmm. I think this has less carbohydrates than the other thing. Yeah, um, is that for one bottle? Uh... No. It's for a third of a bottle. Uh, never mind. <laughs> never mind! Mm -hmm. You're taking a little sips. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. You're taking a little sips. Still good. Oh, yeah. I don't give a crap how many carbs are in it or not. It's good. All right, so now we have tasty things. All right, so do we start with... I'm going to move this over here. Do we start with... I don't know. what. I don't know how to organize this because we got, we got pastry, then we got these, and then we got these. Um, what do we start with what? besides those? Besides these? Besides, well, right. besides what we already started with. And um, then we got these. Let's try these. That's okay. All right. Mm. Next up, we've got bourbon milk milk crisps or whatever they are. Milk 
wafers. So uh, biscuits. Biscuits. That's right. I called them biscuits earlier. Because it says, it says bisc- biscuit on the back. <laughs> You're reading the back while I'm holding it up to the camera. That's not fair. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to get it centered on the camera, and you're reading the back. Maybe I should just have you read it. <laughs> All right. Oh, it has a nice little tray. Oh. Look, nice little tray. Mm. Keep all your little biscuits. Oh, it has two biscuits to a pack. Oh. oh, that's wonderful. We can just open one pack and share biscuits. There we go. Share biscuit. <laughs> share biscuit. If I can get the biscuit open. There we go. These biscuit. It just smells like a sugar wafer. Mm. Mm. Such a sugar wafer with cream inside. Mm. I like it. It's delicious though. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I shouldn't say sugar wafer because it's not overly sweet like sugar yeah. wafers and. In, Ameri- in America are. It's got that crunch, though. That's yeah. What, but then you got that... It's... It, it tastes more so... Instead of, like, the sugary cream... Mm-hmm. It's more so, like, if you had a... Like, the cream, like, the milk candies. Yeah. Um, we didn't record, um, but we did... We did a tasting thing once before. But everything was kind of not necessarily weird. Um, what'd you do with my bag of milk candies? Um, 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 fetch the milk candies. Okay. There you go. Uh, this is this is what we got last time. Uh, it is the name. It, it, where's the name of the Katsugai uh, Milkland Milkland milk candies, milk hard candies, and these are absolutely delicious. Lighting change. Mm. They are. I like take the take like a hand take like two or three of these to work with me. They're like my my snack substitute, so I'm not constantly munching on things. Mm. Although I'm going to be constantly munching on things yeah. for a little while. So um yeah, we don't need one of those. Okay, so those were tasty. Yes. So now we have um we still have many many things to try. So I'm going to put these here with that. Uh, another thing from bourbon. Another thing from bourbon uh, is uh, assorted wheat cakes. Bourbon assorted wheat cakes. And it comes in little cookies and little like wafers. So they're almost like little Oreo cookie and so let's open this up and take a look at what cookies we got. Yeah. I looked at the... Oh, you already looked at it? Okay. <laughs> I was like, I need to make sure. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it does the weight by... It, it does the uh, serving size by weight. Mm-hmm. So, it's like 1.1 grams of those. Yeah, so it, kinda, it, it has to ship by weight. So, it makes it a pain mm-hmm. in the butt to figure out any serving size on these. I think it just I says... I shouldn't have taken the entire thing out. Oh, well, we'll I think it. it says... Yeah, it says there's just six servings in this entire package. Yeah. Um, it looks like there's like nearly three of each. Some yeah. three of each. So what do we got in there? Uh I have no idea. Uh hmm. Luma Bourbon Loom I think it's supposed to be lemonade, so this might be a lemonade kit a lemonade cookie. And this one's lemonade. definitely chocolate. Lemonade? Hmm. Okay. lemonade. I don't know. This one's like a fancy word for chocolate. Okay. And there's two in this package, so you can try one of these. All right. There's a crap load of little cookies and yeah. such in here. See? There's just a whole bunch of different kinds of cookies and little wafers and such. Um, Shall we try this guy? Yeah, we'll try that guy and we'll try this one. All right. Is there we'll any un- other ones there that stick out? Um, I love the names on these things. Wider Rolia. Wider... Wider Altia. Huh. Um... Huh. So you might want to sniff it too, but okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hold it towards my mouth. I'm gonna bite it. Mm. That's what she said. 
Mm. Anyway, um, let's just try one of these cookies. Mm. So we've got... Not, can't say I'm a fan of this one. It's not bad. I kind of like it. You can have them. I'm... It's not, I like the crunch, but it just got a weird initial flavor. Yeah. Actually, there's a couple chocolate chip cookies in here. Mm. Want to try these? Sure. Okay. We'll split up the rest of this. We'll split up the rest of this amongst ourselves. Yeah. But, um... Can you get that out from under there? Thank you. Alright. You dress that later. So, we're going to try three out yeah. of a crap load. Mm -hmm. And then move on to other things. Because there are, there are a lot of different kinds of cookies and such in there. So, uh, here is a... <laughs> this is a chocolate thing. Choc... Chocolire... Chocolire... Lire... They gave them fancy names mm. that I don't think it needed exist. Good. Oh, it smells delicious. Hmm. You know, they do kind. Of, they kind of remind me of those. You know, the cookie platters that you buy at like grocery stores. Are they like the kind of cheap cookies that that have like very that kind of universally bland, but not. Bland taste. Yeah, I mean the only one I'd say it's got is that not... weird aftertaste that always hits your mouth, and mm -hmm. you're just like, "Wow, am I eating these? Really? Okay." Mm. The only one I'd say is not like that is this one. Mm. But um, but yeah, that that one kind of tasted like one of those kind of cookies that you get on those big trays with mm -hmm. all the little cookies on them, those pre-made trays that you mm -hmm. get from the bakeries at grocery stores. Yeah. Which is probably an insult to to trays at, at grocery stores, because... No. 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 <laughs> yeah, because it was good. Alright. Would you like a chocolate chip cookie? Sure. <laughs> okay. These things... So far have been... Not my favorite, really. No? no. These, this thing, yeah. Yeah, they're just dry and... Yeah, they just really dry and they just... Grocery store cookies. Mm-hmm. Grocery store platter cookies. Mm-hmm. Which is a shame. Because they look... They look gorgeous. Mm -hmm. In the packaging. And I'm... Talking about... They fancy and such. Mm-hmm. Well, it's fancy if it's a pack of cookies and look, but... Mm -hmm. I love the inside of this one that you kind of bit in half. It's kind of got all sorts of little folds in it. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what I like most about this one is the texture. Yeah. There's all those folds. Yeah, it does have a nice crunch. It's mm -hmm. just... That dry flavor. Yeah, they're all such... just kind of dry. I'm just not a fan. Okay. Here. Just you can you can work on putting that back in the package. No. <laughs> Cause I pulled it all the way out. I'm doing some aloe. There we go. I just got a chunk of something. Yeah, it's got pulp in it. There's pulp in my aloe juice. You didn't notice? No. My first sips didn't have pulp. Every sip I've had is at a pulp. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I may have to reiterate, I'm not a fan of pulpy juices. Uh. Um, like orange juice. Like when I was a kid, I used to retch at really pul at like pulpy orange juice. Mm -hmm. But this isn't like completely pulpy. It's just yeah, it, it, it slides down very nicely. It's 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 just like little seeds. Little floating of, in it. Little bits of, I guess, leaves. Little, little bits of aloe seeds floating in it, I guess. Uh, aloe leaves, probably, or something, you know. The... Well, aloe leaves are like aloe leaves. Yeah, I mean, I, guess. Just getting, I don't know. It's kind of hard I'm to guessing tell. it's just what, like... I, I guess, I don't know. Whatever I'm guessing pulp... it's what's left over after they... Mash it all up. Mash it up. Mm -hmm. Still good. Yeah. yeah. I, I <clears throat> barely know what's going down my throat. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears> throat> 
So, we've got four things left. Um, we should probably save this till last because it's going to take a while. Yeah, and it's a pretty self-explanatory object. Yeah. All right, um, so. so we got those, those, or that. Um, let's do these. I've these? Been, I'm kind of staring at them. Okay. So, we love Pocky. Mm -hmm. He loves strawberry Pocky. I love chocolate Pocky. Um, and for the longest time, the only flavors that we ever saw in the Oriental markets were chocolate and, or strawberry. Yeah. So, we went today, and the for the first time, we saw a different flavor. Oh, and the, um, the one with the, the nuts on it? Yeah, it... it is Whatever it, that is. I can't, it was, I can't it was a strawberry. Called. It was a strawberry. It just had like kind of nuts or something on it. I think it was a chocolate one too. Was yeah, they, they, yeah. I've seen the chocolate ones nuts in the past. So yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway. Anyway. Getting yeah, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So this is <clears throat> Pocky Matcha Green Tea Cream Covered Biscuit Sticks. And I've heard that the green tea Pocky is delicious. I've never tried it myself, and I'm here rocking back and forth and making me move. Okay, so let's open this puppy up and try ourselves some green tea poppy. Where's my scissors? <laughs> I was about to say, I'll hmm, just get those. My desk is right, I'm, we're sitting at my desk. Oop, I took off the tip of my finger. That wouldn't have been good. Hey, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, so. <laughs> covered. No. <laughs> yeah, it's like a green lightsaber. They're covered in like lime green cream. Mine's got a little a little bubble on the top of it. Makes it look kind of obscene. Um, it smells like green tea. It does. It smells really heavily of green tea. Hmm. Hmm. That's not bad. You know, it just tastes like kind of it light tastes green like tea, like like a, 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 green a weaker tea. green, like weaker green tea. It's like I should be sipping this. Mm. Like I'm already getting the feeling, like my my mouth is wanting to sip instead of chew. Mm. It's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> my mouth wants to sip this pocky instead of chew it. No, no it's not bad. No, it's not bad. It's just kind of weird. Yeah. And you don't really get the taste until you, like, bite into it. No, you don't get the taste until you bite into it. And usually with, like, the, the It's not wine. a sucking pocky. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a sucking pocky. Oh my. Oh, shush. <laughs> I know some people like to suck on the pocky before I they do. bite into it. I, I know you do. I know he does. Um. <laughs> Oh, jokes. All right, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That is an interesting flavor. Mm -hmm. One I would not expect in Pocky, and that was... That was... I don't hate it. I I still love my uh, my chocolate Pocky mm -hmm. more. Yeah. Well, it, uh, this could be pulp, or it could be there's some uh, gel they have. Oh, that's right. They have some the kind of... The aloe vera gel powder. They have some kind of weird gel powder, powder in the aloe. We're still talking about the aloe. <laughs> we keep drinking it, and we keep getting bits of pulp and Because we keep getting bits of pulp, and we're like, the pulp is weird. I mean, I've had, like, pure like puree drinks. Mm-hmm. got, like, this one thing at, um, uh, produce that's this superfood thing. It's got, like, spinach and wheat germ and wheat grass and strawberry and banana it's a weird mixture of things it's not bad though <laughs> no i mean it's not very sweet but there's just oh, a, no there's a little bit of sweetness to it it's, what in those ingredients make you think it's gonna be sweet <laughs> it's not it, it's not bad though i really actually kind of like it 
Huh? If it weren't, you if, like it? Man, if it weren't for the fact that it was two dollars and fifty cents, I'd buy it more often. Mm. Okay. So now we have. Let's go ahead and do these next. Okay. From the same company as Pocky, we have Pretz. I've seen salad edition. Salad edition. There was a uh, what was the other one that was there? Uh, they had like roasted. Yeah, they had roasted pretz, but we but I I picked up salad pretz. Um, we picked up salad pretz. Yes. And roasted kind of sounded boring. Yeah, roasted did sound boring. Sorry, roasted. You're boring. All right. Anyway, the packet of salad pretz. I've never had pretz before. I saw the spoony one have pretz before. Pretz. Mm. Um, I had the um, the tomato ones. Those you are had, good. You had the tomato pretz. Yes, those are good. I never had pretz. Where did you get pretz? <laughs> um. Uh, ah! I just our the friend brought um, a person brought them into a anime club one day. Okay. And she just kind of shared them. I'm like, oh, mm. good. Pretz. Yeah. They so got in, like a big box. Of yeah. Them. They're in a little, like, Pocky-like packet. Mm -hmm. You usually see in the little packages of Pocky. And, uh, just looks like a poor little naked Pocky stick. It doesn't smell like too much. A little naked Pocky stick. No, it doesn't have much of a smell at all. Mmm. Mmm. It's good, though. It doesn't smell mm. like much, but it's got good taste. That does taste good. Mmm. Mm. does it taste like? I don't know. Mm. I, mean, I can taste a little bit of, uh... Oh. I broke one. I like the, like the hints of, uh... Like basil and some other a stuff. A hint of basil. <laughs> Sorry. You may continue. I was just yeah, I know. messing mm. with you. It's kind of hard to place it all. Mm. It know, tastes like, like a salad. Yeah, I kind of. Like, if you had a salad without any of the greens in it, if that makes any sense. It's like that hints of all the dressings and such, but not. you don't really have that consistency of... Oh, bless. I don't mind. Hush, shush. I'm trying to figure out how to describe the bloody thing. If you got some better terms, go for it. Um. It's nice. <laughs> How's that for a term? There we go, Internet. It's nice. I love you. Love you too. We're going to be the rest of the video is snacking on pretzels. Mm. Dicks. Ow. Well, let's move on to the next thing before we end up just eating right. that bag. Second to last thing. The penultimate thing. Because I'm, I'm fancy and I can use words like penultimate. We need to use penultimate more often we in do. our daily lives. Internet, bring back the word penultimate. Because I haven't heard it used since Ian Cole for released the second to last Artemis Fowl book. Um, I heard of Achievement Hunter use it. They're nerds. Yeah. Well, that's well, good we're nerds, so yeah. of course we're gonna use words like penultimate. Okay. Now this I didn't thing, introduce the box. This thing is interesting. These are Euro custard cakes. Euro custard cake, and you see the 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 cake. They apparently are also brought to us by Thailand. Almost everything here is either Japan or Thailand, I noticed. Everything here is either Japan or Thailand. Except for that thing we had last week that was disgusting. Oh, that the I Filipino threw, chocolate? That I threw away today. That was, Fili it was yeah, it was Filipino chocolate. They had like star chocolates or something like that? It was, yeah, it was chocolate. Oh, those chocolate. were god awful. It, it was called Choco Star. Choco Star. Yeah, and uh, it was so disgusting. Don't get king. Yeah. Choco Star. For it, the yeah, love of God. It was like dry and oh god, that was terrible. It was like freeze dried chocolate that yeah. they let thaw. Mm hmm. It was gross. Mm. Oh, it's like a little cake. Yeah. There you go. There you go. It's a little cake. A little cake. Mm. Mm. Hmm. 
trying to place that. Hmm. And I've had this. I, I know this taste. I've had it before. This custard. Yeah. Well, I can taste the egg. Mm hmm. Definitely. If we get sick tomorrow, One. it's going to be because of something that we ate tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what, though. Who knows? It may end up being the custard cakes. Yeah, that's an interesting... Yeah. It's not bad. I like it. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. I have to lick the cream inside because I want to find out what I'm tasting that's weird. is either the cream or the cake. Mm. Once again, something I don't absolutely hate, but I've had better. Mm, if you don't want them, I'll take them. Those <laughs> I actually, I will. like. Yeah, I, I. I'm not a big Twinkie fan. I, mean, I, I I like the idea of the Twinkie. I like. It's like a Twinkie substitute. Yeah, it's like it's a, because it, I, the Twinkie's just a little too cloyingly sweet for me. And the Twinkie's I, like really heavy too. This isn't yeah. really all that heavy. Yeah, it's not very heavy, and it's just got a little bit of sweetness. I, I'm. And I'll take that. Yeah, out. it looked like a Twinkie. It looked like a yeah, brown a, Twinkie. Yeah, it's a sponge. It's a standard sponge cake with the custard stuff in it. Yellow custard too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, I wouldn't mind holding on to a few of them. Okay. Actually, there's not very many in here. No, I think it's like a, got like six. In yeah, it. there's like six. We'll split them. Okay. All right. I'll drink some more aloe before we uh. I know most of the stuff we're probably going to be putting in a separate bag so you can take take it home tonight. Yeah. Well, I saved the bags over there. They're just hanging out next to the giant box of Pocky. His giant box of strawberry Pocky that he bought today. No, well, I... It's hard to... I, 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 I'm trying to huh. minimize all the co food colors we eating and... I have There's actually... aloe jelly on my finger. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it got caught in my... It got caught on my, uh... On my tongue. Mm -hmm. They actually have the stuff that's, you know, colored with red beet and such instead of, yeah. like, red 40 or whatever the color of the day is. That's something I'm so jealous about with the European countries and all yeah, and not, like, the they, foreign countries yeah. that do that. Yeah, no, they don't all do it, as I discovered. No, they don't all do it, but in some places <laughs> it's actually illegal for them to use, like, yeah. the, 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 colors. the colors and the... I know the UK has outlawed them. Yeah. I mean, yeah, just and here in Am here in America, <laughs> everything's shoot. got color. Put color in everything. <laughs> shoot our shoot our bovines up. Give them hormones. <sighs> I'm not a, I'm not an activist. I'm not a I'm not an animal rights person in the least. Oh, I am. Animals have the right to be tasty. They do. They do. By the way, I hope when I go to Anchorage, mm -hmm. I want to try like some some. Like wild game. Ah, maybe we'll get to try some moose. Maybe I will get to try some moose. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I can come back and make a video about all the stuff that I ate. Yeah. Because uh, <clears throat> in June I'm going to Honolulu for three nights with my dad, and then from there I'm going to um, Ang I'm going to Alaska because he lives in Alaska um, for nine days after that. So I'll be gone for almost two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be eating a lot. No, I got it. Um, my list of stuff that I want to do when I'm in Honolulu consists mainly of restaurants. I'm going to be eating a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take my video camera with me so I can record stuff. All right. I already opened it up. But this is another one from Kasu Katsu Kasugai. <laughs> I think I put a T in there earlier. Mm. There's no T in there. It's Kasugai. The wonderful makers of um, our favorite treats. Mm -hmm. Of um, of the milk candies. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> these are light, lychee candies. And if I'm saying that wrong, um, you can correct me. But these are red lychee. I've never had the red lychee before. 
we've only ever had the green lychee. Yeah. And we, that's because we have, there's a little, um, there's a Chinese, um, cafe mm -hmm. in town that, that, um, has the green lychee that mm -hmm. you can, that you can eat after your meal and they give it away for free. Yeah. So I've never had the red lychee before. And they're really, really nice mm. little... They look, they look just like the the green light you yeah. ones. They're they're clear little tablets. They're really big too. Yeah. They're about the same size as the milk candies. Yeah. If a little bigger. Hmm. That's tasty. It is. Hmm. I'm trying to place the hint. I mean, it's got—it is like your regular lychee candy, but it's got a hint of. Uh, it has citrus. It has a bit of citrus in it. Is that what it does? Citric acid. Mm. It's good though. Yeah. Mm. I swear, everything made by this company, by Kasugai, Kasugai Sekai Company. LTD is amazing. Mm. I love their stuff. <clears throat> mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Another thing we're going to have to split between each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. We aren't even married yet and we're already splitting, splitting things. <laughs> We're not, we're not even married to be to be splitting things. <laughs> no. <laughs> so this was a wonderful experience. Yeah. So yeah. Um this was fun. Yeah. So we enjoy our lychee candies. Mm -hmm. Um, what was your favorite thing? Mm hmm. It's really kind of a toss-up between those custard cake things mm -hmm. and that aloe drink. Okay. I mean, I, I I like a lot of it. I mean, then I like those little seaweed guys. Mm -hmm. It's a, that's a very kind of like that more savory taste. Yes, but if you could pick one. If I could just pick just one. Mm -hmm. mm. Definitely this thing. The aloe. Yeah. Mine would have to be the pretz. Mm. <laughs> I love the pretz. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I was gonna make a uh, a wizard joke. Mm. You know the power glove. <laughs> so bad. <sighs> Nerd. All right. <laughs> We're done. You need to take insulin. Yes, I do. So, um... Mm -hmm. We're gonna split all this stuff up. Yep. So he can take home what he wants, and I can keep... Mm -hmm. Um... The rest. The rest. To eat. And then I'll probably have more stuff on Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Because Valentine's Day is... Five days away. Yep. We're gonna have fun! Mm -hmm. Um... So, yeah. Have a, have a great Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, if you're single, happy Singles Awareness Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're single, do some research on the Saint Valentine's Day Massacre. Fun stuff. <laughs> you see why I love this man? Okay, anyway. <sighs> this is this is Anna Rules. I'm in the silent strategist. So. <clears throat> Saying... Okay. For Jew Wario, try some new things. Mm -hmm. For his sake, since he can't do it for us anymore. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.